there's an appeal to working from home, but doing it effectively uh, takes some practice and takes some good tips. I've been doing it for over 14 years now and wanted to offer some of the things I've learned uh, over that time. A huge key, uh, I think even if you're in a corporate office, this helps, but for sure when you're at home uh, on your own, a uh, prioritized task list is uh, essential to keep yourself on track and know what you need to get done. I think it's also important on that list that you include not just work tasks, but tasks around the home, such as empty the dishwasher, get a load of whites in the uh, washer, little things like that that you want to do at some point through the day. And, and then you basically, part of that prioritization is fitting those in at different times. Uh, I, th I think the home tasks can be a nice break. You need a change of pace, you need to walk around instead of going through uh, for a walk uh, in, in the corporate office and chit chat in someone else's cube, you can uh, walk down to the laundry room or whatever and, and get that taken care of. So I think it's a change of pace, mixing them in uh, is, a, is a good way to do it. And frankly, I mentioned about the walks, don't be afraid to go outside for a walk or run or exercise, whatever you might do. Uh, I think it should be a part of your task for the day. Um, but I think a lot of times when you're working from home, you feel the guilt of, well, I wanna make sure and do enough to, so the company's happy with what I'm doing. Uh, but then you see a bright sunny day or a beautiful day or just need to stretch and then you don't go outside and do that. And then you feel guilty that you didn't take advantage of a nice day. So I highly recommend you mix in some of that um, into your schedule as well. Um, but doing all that uh, certainly takes discipline. Uh, being accountable to someone else can help. Uh, some are, can just be accountable to themselves. Um, but regardless what it is, with certain tasks, it might be something where you reward yourself for completing one of those tasks. Uh, and those rewards obviously don't have to be huge, but again, it can be, I'm going to go to the library or uh, again, go for a walk or something like that as a, a reward to yourself to get, get completed with those activities. And the other thing uh, that's a, a risk of working from home is just distractions. Uh, a lot of people talk about have a dedicated workspace. I'm personally not a big proponent of that. I think you want to have a focused area where you're working at a given time. Uh, but having done this for an extended period of time, like I said, 14 years, I like to have a variety of places that I can go um, just to change a pace, change a scenery. Um, it's like redecorating your office and all you have to do is move locations. Uh, so sometimes it's in the kitchen uh, table, sometimes it's in the you know a, a four season porch. There can be a variety of places you can set up and, and do that. Uh, so, but also know that when you're there, you know that that's workplace, whether it's kids, pets, otherwise, you know that's kind of off limits. You know when you're working. Uh, but again, if you do have kids and it's after lunch and they want to go play catch with the football. Go play catch with the football. You're home. You have the opportunity. Don't wait till the end of the work day. It might be dark out or it might be cold out or raining. Take advantage of some of the opportunities you have weather-wise, uh, but do protect that space you have. But part of having a dedicated space is it's nice to be able to pack it away or do something when the day is done and you have to find your day is done, enough tasks are completed. You could put that away and walk away from work. Uh, I. A lot of people are basically 24 seven on for work. And I don't think that's a healthy thing. We need to get away from that. So doing something where you can pack it away, turn it off, shut it down, uh, and just mentally and socially recharge again. So those are some of the things that I've found uh, helpful. Uh, if you'd like more tips on that uh, to leverage some of the experiences I've had, feel free to reach out uh, here at Perry Solutions. We'd like to help you be more effective in what you do on a daily basis.